Shane Davidson and I'm from Celebrity TV Down Under. Well, the last few days I've had a lot of people posting questions on Facebook from the various Dance Mums groups asking me would I do a bit of a Q&A and answer some of the questions that people have. Well, here we go. Well, these questions are posed by people wanting to find out how we met up with Abby and some of the dance mums on our different experiences in LA. So here we go. The first question is from Tiffany Miller and she asks, what are the chances of you being a special guest on the show? Well, thanks for that question, Tiffany. Well, I was in Hollywood at the reunion show called Playing Favourites and I was actually in the audience. So if you have a very good look at this shot here, you can see that I was in the audience and they actually got a few of my facial expressions that were shown as part of the show. Will I be a special guest in the future? No idea, fingers crossed, but I certainly have been in the audience and proved that I was there in North Hollywood. Next question is from Zoe Miles and she says, Knowing what you know, well I don't know how much I know really, is season six likely to be the final in your opinion? Well, I definitely think the show will continue. It is such a hit, especially in America, Australia and Britain. There are so many fans out there that I can't see why it won't continue. Abby recently has put up all over social media about the auditions and rumour has it that it is now cast, season six. So we're going to have to find out exactly who is in it, but I think we'll be seeing a lot of new faces. The next question is from Kristen Markham and she says, what is Abby like in person? I have heard that she was nice, but all the dance mum show is the mean side of her. Well, I suppose you have to separate out Abby the person and Abby the TV personality and the dance teacher on the show. Of the six times that I've bumped into her with my family, she has been absolutely wonderful. We've had some laughs. She's been a great lady. She has a very dry sense of humour as well, which I think is something you probably don't see much on the show. But of course, on the show, she is the dance teacher. And of course, parents don't like always hearing the truth about their children, especially when it's in the arts industry. So I think she is a nice person, but she probably changes her tune a bit when she has to deal with the mums on the show. Well, the next one is from Vevi Swoish. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And it says, can you clear up the rumours about Brooke, Paige and Chloe returning to dance mums in season six. Well, I seriously doubt they will. I know there's been a lot of rumor and innuendo about would they, but I think their day is done. And I think the girls also, particularly Chloe, are moving on to new things that are on the horizon. And let's face it, her star is starting to shine very bright. So I would be very surprised. But I suppose you should never say never, but from what I know, I seriously doubt they'll be returning in season six. Anna Leonard asks, is it true that Kenzie wasn't supposed to be on the show? Well, when I caught up with Jeff Collins in Hollywood in July, he said that that was absolutely not the truth and that Kenzie was always supposed to be in the show. Laura Mega asks, what were the dance mums like and Abby on the reunion show? Well, they were actually really, really cool, great to get along with. When we were in the side street at Apache Studios in North Hollywood, they were out at the food truck that had pulled up because they were having a lunch break. And we went along and joined in, had a bit of ice cream, had a chat to the mums, and they were all really, really friendly. Of course, they're concentrating when the show is being taped, so you can't get a lot of chance to speak with them then, but they were absolutely wonderful. And at the end of the evening, because Abby had invited us, we went up, gave her a great big hug, and thanked her very much for having us. So all in all, it was a great day. Jodie Blythe asks, what was your opinion of Christy? And what was she like when you first met her? Well, she was actually charming. We were staying at the Lowe's Hotel, down in the precinct next door with the shopping center. We bumped into her by chance as she was coming up the stairs, because I think she was going into guests 
to buy something for Chloe. She was charming. At first the photo took, we took didn't work out. She had to go into guests and was shopping. And when she came out, we said, look, we're really sorry, but can we take the photo again? It hasn't worked out. So she obliged us and she stood there and took the photo. So she was actually quite charming to get along with. And every time that I have bumped into Christy, she has been actually really nice to us all. Laura Huffstetler asks, from your perspective, does Abby regret running Chloe off given her current fame? Well, I don't think Abby regrets anything. She is a decision maker, she's a businesswoman, and I think when you make decisions at the time, regardless of what happens later on, I think in Hollywood, you have to live with them. Jonathan Daniel asks, who was your favorite and least favorite of the mums? Well, that's a very tricky one to answer there, Jonathan. I suppose I developed a bit of a rapport with Jill. She's a very outgoing, fun sort of person. And each time she saw me here in Norwood, South Australia, at any of the events, she'd say, oh, here's my friend Shane. So she's certainly a little bit more out there. Melissa is lovely as well. I did not have much to do with some of the other mothers. I said hello to them, I chatted, but certainly Jill. And the other person who is not a dance mum, but is Abby's right-hand person, Gianna. Very understated, but a sweet, sweet, lovely person. Erica Northcutt asks, how long did the competition take? Did the flow feel like a normal competition? And what were all, sorry, were all of the cameras there as well? Well, yes, of course they were because they were filming as part of Dance Mums. So you were very aware, but the cameras weren't that intru obtrusive. They did have some very long boom cameras that even move, scan over the top of the audience as well. So you were aware of them, but they weren't that intrusive. Well, it was like a normal competition. It went for many, many hours, I can assure you, but we got to see Ava and Maddie. And of course, as a lot of you might be aware, when they are actually filming one of the main competitors of the girls who are on the show, often they'll retake the song from or the dance from different angles so that they can use those angles and cut in and various takes for the show as well. But it was great being there at Intensity. It was quite a long way from Hollywood out at Calabasas. A long trip out there, but certainly worth it. Christy Cooper asks, well, first of all, she talks about that she is a huge Dance Mums fan, in fact, 110%, and she was saying, ah, oh, Maddie and Melissa as lovely in real life. Well, I did only meet them a few times, but everything that I could see from them and in chatting with them, very down to earth, lovely people as well. I did go out for dinner with uh, Jill and Melissa, very friendly. Some of the Australian terms they weren't sure of and we had a great chat about that as well and a bit of a laugh and even Abby got in on the act because I wanted to pay for the meal at the end of the night because it was such a great experience and they, they were teasing me saying that they had to let them pay as well or they were going to put it up on Instagram but the poor waiter was a bit frazzled but it was a lot of fun and yes they are lovely ladies very down to earth and great to get on with. Shelley still asks what was it like going out with Abby and the mums for dinner? Were they and you constantly asked and approached for photographs and autographs or were most people respected of, the, of their privacy? Well, most people were pretty much gobsmacked that it was Abby Lee Miller out in Adelaide having dinner. Uh, nobody was interested in me, but they were very interested in Abby and the mums I think Melissa felt it was a little bit rude of people to come up while we were all eating, but Abby absolutely loved her. And I must say, she is great with her fans as well. She beckoned people over, they'd be standing nearby and they didn't want to be intrusive. And she would beckon them over and have a photo with them and genuinely talk to people and find out about them. I think it would be plain exhausting doing that all the time, but they know that the fans are the ones that keep them there on TV, and I think they're very appreciative of them. 
Well, that's it for today with the Q&A. Thank you very much to everybody who submitted all of the questions on Facebook. It's great to find out what you think of the show and what questions you have. Well, if you haven't tuned in as yet, please check out my interview with Abby Lee Miller, where she talks about how she started, the influence of her mum, and really some surprising things that could be happening in Australia down under later on as well. And also don't forget to check out my interview with Jeff Collins, where he confirms that season six is definitely going ahead and tells us a little more insight into what the show's about and the people involved and maybe what's coming up. I was quite surprised to find out that he was one of the creators of Bridezilla. Oh, and before you leave, don't forget you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, Facebook. Until next time, see you then. Mm -hmm.